hello hello thank you to everybody who watched the first video it was amazing i haven't had so many views in a video for a very long time so i really appreciate you stopping by and the comments thank you for that we are going to do part two today and we're going to make some more things so i have got some card i've cut here and i've cut this card at four inches by two and a half inches okay it's not perfect it isn't perfect um so the first thing I'm going to do, if you've got a corner rounder, if you've got your envelope punch board, brilliant. But my lovely friend Vicky has sent me this and it basically does the envelopes without the, the board. So it's got the cuts um, and this can be used for a million things. So I'm going to use this corner rounder and I'm going to punch the corners at the bottom. Okay, and the first thing we're going to make is we're going to make a bit of a rolodex card um it's obviously not going to be a real real rolodex card but we're going to make something that looks similar and this will fit inside your envelopes that we made the other day okay so this one i'm going to use as my template so i'm going to grab my scoreboard for this but you can easily use um a pencil and a ruler not a problem um what i'm going to do is it's four inches so i'm going to do a score at three inches and at one inch one inch and three inches so I'm coming in an inch either way okay then I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to score at this end I'm just going to line that up with a whole inch so I've lined this edge up with my three inch and I'm going to come in um, one two three notches what's that um, whatever three notches is on your scoreboard and I'm just going <laughs> to score a line I don't know what those little little bits are um, but as you can see, I've got those score lines and I'm going to use these lines here where they cross and I'm going to centre my hole punch and I'm going to cut a hole there and there. Now I have to use my cropper dial but any single hole punch or even a double hole punch if you can line it up would be fine. This drives me nuts because it keeps the little bits get stuck in there just as accurately as I can and this is going to become my template I'm not worried about cutting anything else on that for now but I'm going to line each of my cards up and just draw in that circle I'll do that to all of them and now I can punch all of these holes out I really do wish I could find my single hole punch so you can leave them like this if you want to leave them like that as your roller decks card. But I'm going to take a really small pair of scissors and I'm just going to do this by eye. I'm going to cut a couple of little lines out there as central as I can to that hole. And again, like I said, these do not have to be perfect at all because, you know, we're making them. They're handmade, very handmade. So when I'm doing this, I've been trying to think of the most basic tools and the most basic way of making all of these pieces, you know, because some people have a few things and some people have none. Um, but hopefully everybody's got a single hole punch and a pair of scissors. If you don't have the corner rounder, that one wasn't cut very well. If you don't have a corner rounder, then you can always use something round just take a lid off. Oh, I've got a lid here with nothing attached to it. So I've taken my lid going to put it in the corner line the edges up and just draw my rounded edge in so all you really need for this is a single hole punch a pair of scissors and a ruler and a pencil you know hopefully everybody's got that as their bare minimum kind of items and then we can just cut that so if you haven't got a corner rounder no big deal you can still round your corners. And then again, you've got this as your template, so you don't need to hunt down your little lid every time. So there we go. They are some faux Rolodex cards. That's make number one. Make number two is I have made an absolute load of little tickets. And you could make these any size you want. There are a couple of options. So what I am going to use now, I know not everybody has got one of these. If you don't have one of these, you might have one of these. 
and if you don't have one of these you may well have a box with your tin foil in that's got a rough edge you know where you pull your tin foil off um, there are lots of videos out there so you can take that off your box very carefully because it is sharp um, you can attach it to any old ruler or any old straight edge and you can use that as your tear ruler I'm going to use this decal edge cut up from Tim Holtz um, the reason being I've had it a very very long time and I hardly ever use it so I'm going to take this strip let me see if these are the right size no they're not okay so I'm going to make mine um, let's say that it's two Oh, it's six centimetres, which is about maybe two and a half by one and a quarter. So let's say two and a half by one and a quarter. Okay, that's the size these are. Two and a half by one and a quarter. So all I really need to do is I'm going to first cut my first cut and it doesn't matter how straight neat you want it to look like a perforated piece of paper now you may have the um, scissors that does the stamp edge brilliant you can use that and I'm going to make this two and a half two and a half inches and then I'm going to do another two and a half inches And then I'm going to do another two and a half inches, but I'm going to move it down the board so I get a little bit of a different cut. So they are all kind of messy edged. And you, like I said, you can do this with a tear ruler or you can do it with your tin foil um, box. That would work. And now what I want to do is I'm going to cut these one and a quarter. One and a quarter. So these are now all cut. I'm going to do three at a time. I'm going to take my hole punch and half cut a hole in each end. And this is absolutely easy peasy. That, you can't really see that, can you? Let me put this on a piece of green. And then we have some ticket shapes with a bit of a rough edge. And it's good to do several at once. So I'm lining all three of mine up together and I'm gonna put that little half hole in. And if you look at tickets, they're not all perfect. I've got some vintage tickets and they're not perfect. So I don't mind if these are not perfect either. And there we have some tickets. Let me find a stamp. Okay, I've got a stamp. This one came from the stamp shop in London. Um, um, I cannot think of the name of it, but I try, I'll try and put the link down below. I've had these forever. I'm going to grab my black ink, stamp up my ticket. And I haven't tried any with stamps on, so this is going to be a little learning curve for me as well to see if this actually fits. And I'm just going to stamp that on. If you're using a clear stamp platform, you'll have a much better view. But look at that. Oh, I'm a little bit in love with that. <laughs> So there are my tickets, easy peasy tickets to go with our index, no, Rolodex cards. The next thing I'm going to make are some kind of faux stamps. Now, I don't have those scissors that I spoke about that does the stamp edge. So I'm going to just grab a piece of my card and I'm going to grab my deckled edge trimmer and I'm going to make a little bow stamp using the edge of this and it's very very simple I'm not even measuring because you might want your stamp all different sizes and I'm going to pull that out a little bit hold that down and stamp 
and then you have your rough edge to make a stamp and you can stamp straight onto that okay so I've, I've made a pile of these I've made some quite big ones and some smaller ones and I'm going to show you how I make my second one I have this punch which I never ever use so this is fantastic because this gave me a really good reason to use this stamp now if I just stamp that's rather large and that's a bit too big for me so what I'm going to do is put this in and you have to fiddle about with it you might need a pair of tweezers just to get that lined up where I want it once I've got something like that I'm going to stamp punch and there I have another faux stamp so that's two ways you can make your faux stamps you can use your tear ruler you can use look at your punches see if your punches have an edge that you could use if you don't have those stamp scissors and that is our faux stamp okay um, um the next thing i'm going to make is a kind of a little bit different i'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper now i um which punch did i use I am on a mission to use punches that I have. So one inch, I'm gonna grab my one inch circle punch and I'm gonna cut a circle. Okay, now I'm gonna take a smaller punch, three quarter inch. I'm gonna take my three quarter inch punch and I'm gonna cut a circle, okay. And then over this smaller circle, I'm going to take my one inch punch again. I've made that too, I've put that too close to the edge. When I punch this, I need to, to put it fairly close to the edge so I can still get this punch inside that. And then I'm going to line them up so the bigger punch is going to go over that smaller punch. Can you see the circle there? And I'm going to punch that out. Hey, here we go. So now I'm taking any kind of decorative punch and I'm going to use a different colour so you can see. And I'm going to punch this shape out. And I've got a flower there. Okay. So I'm going to take my flower. And I'm going to just put a little dab of glue on the end of each petal. And then I'm going to put my little ring over that. You see. Okay. And I have also done one with this punch. This one is slightly bigger. This one is slightly bigger, can you see, than this ring. So just play about with your punches and see what you can come up with. This is just a little leaf punch. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom and on the top and add that to that one. And I'm gonna need another, another one inch hold. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue along the top of this and then add my circle to that like that and I'm going to do the same to this one just play about with your different circle punches to see what kind of sizes you can come up with find out any of your little old punches I don't think I, I probably have used this half a dozen times since I've had it and then I'm just gluing those just around the sort of top third maybe now let's just take that little ticket we punched and this will now slide over something you've created uh, and make a kind of paper tab 
paper clip, whatever you want to call it. So that's a little idea. That's a little idea. Okay, I'll show you something else I've made in a similar way. Do you know those little circles with the metal edges? I've made a tiny little one of those. Um, and all I did was I coloured the this bit in with a silver acrylic paint marker. But you could use any kind of silver crayon, anything silver you had to kind of make that. And it does need two layers really because that's a bit thin. So these are a little bit fiddly, but that is a way you can make those little um, faux pendants. That's really important news, whatever that is. The final, the final make is I was kind of challenged to make a window envelope easy to make. Um, and of course, I've got, you can use dies, you can use hole punches. So I've got this one, I've got a tab, and I've also got the one I've already used today. I'm going to use my plain square one. The first thing you need to do is make your envelope like you would make any envelope using your envelope punch board or however you make your envelopes. And then you need a piece of paper the same. So whatever you've made, it doesn't have to be, but it gives that kind of illusion of being part of the envelope if you use the same paper. I'll show you where this idea came from shortly. Um, so I'm going to take my paper trimmer, slide my paper in, just line my envelope up so I get a piece of paper virtually identical and at this stage I'd rather my paper was a little bit bigger than a bit smaller. Line that up and cut that and then I'm going to do it sideways. And like I said, I'm okay if this is a bit smaller, uh, bigger, but I don't want it smaller. So this is going to become our faux envelope front. And it is very slightly bigger, as you can see, which is perfect. Now you need to decide where you kind of want your window to go. You're a little bit short of options. It will depend on how far your paper slides into your um, punch but I'm going to do a kind of long shape so I'm going to punch a hole and I'm going to slide my punch over and I'm going to punch a hole again so I now have a window albeit on a piece of paper not on my envelope but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my transparent paper of whichever kind you're using you can use plastic packaging for this and I'll show you something else you can use shortly I'm just going to cut that grab my glue glue round again not too close and we don't have to worry about this because there will actually be nothing in here there's nothing going in and out or there must, there might be, but at the moment there isn't. So glue that down and that's going to go on here. Now, if you're going to sew, for example, you've got two options. If you want to, you can sew along here now, just that edge, and then you can add it and sew around the other edges with your envelope open. And that will make that a pocket so you can slide something in if you do that you will have to make sure you are gluing this down firmly I'm not I'm going to make just a faux envelope so it looks like a window envelope but it's not okay it's going to look like an envelope but it's going to be a fake front now we've got our little that could go in there I've got a little label we could put that in there Quite easily quite like that yeah that's good okay I'm gonna ink my little label so that's inked I have got somewhere blah, blah, blah. I've got a plain stamp this is just a text stamp this one comes from Mackie stamps get some ink on that stamp roughly look at where 
my window is. I'm going to stamp. Then I'm going to decide where to put my label. Okay, so I'm going to glue my label in. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to grab a butterfly. Put a bit of glue on that. This is from one of my kits. I'm not sure which, but I think that will be okay. Brilliant. So that's now on my envelope. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to go around the very edge of my envelope. If you are making yours a pocket, obviously you don't want to do this one of your edges. You can leave one of your edges open to make it a pocket. I'm not. I'm closing mine up. And then I'm going to put this on my envelope. I'm just going to fold those edges in. So we're gluing that in place. Now, obviously I've got a little bit hanging over, so I'm going to very, very carefully, making sure I don't trim the actual envelope, I'm just going to trim the edges of that overhanging paper and at the top. And we now have what looks like an envelope with something in it, but it actually isn't at all. Okay, so that's a bit of a faux, faux front to an envelope, just so it looks more realistic. Um, and obviously you could sew and do all sorts of things to this if you want before you glue it down. Um, but it looks like an envelope from that side as well. So I'm really happy with that. And the idea came because... I thought what I could use is the front of an envelope. Just cut a panel out and just put that over. And this particular panel was way too big for this size envelope. So um, it's an option and an idea if you have a bigger envelope to use these. Okay, so we've got our faux envelope front. <laughs> so I wasn't wasn't quite prepared for that I had to stop filming and go and print it because I forgot to print so I've got a freebie um, I'm going to put it in the Facebook group um, and then obviously I will add it to the foxy rag in September but I may well put a pattern on it ready for September so it's not the template as such um, this one is it's got the window in the coin envelope and it's it's solid so this one is if you are using a scan and cut or if you are using um, a Cricut and you want to scan to cut, um, you've got the scan option. And I've also done um, a lined outline. Now, how I'm going to do this is I've actually printed it onto the back of one of my compendium pages. So you could, you could print this, cut it out and use it as a cardboard template. Or you can print it straight onto scrapbooking paper or a digital um, however, or whatever paper you want, um, wrapping paper or something like that. So I'm going to make the envelope, which is very, very easy. Um, I'm going to cut it out. Okay, so my, my pieces are cut out. And this is one of those papers that can go any way up. So it doesn't matter if it's upside down. I'm going to use my little scoreboard. I'll show you how I cut it, fold this. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to line my score tool in that last groove and I'm going to butt the envelope up against it and then I'm just going to line up that top, okay? That's how I do my envelopes and then I'll spin it round and do the same again. So I'm lining up this corner here but I'm pushing it against my tool here to make sure I get a nice straight score. And do that on all four sides and then I'm gonna fold the sides in there's not a huge overlap but there is an overlap and it overlaps enough for you to do your so for example I've got my piece of cut off here I'm just gonna cut one of those and I'll find a piece of scrap card which I have in abundance at the moment cut that and that will go on there and I can do a second one. So 
So there'd be my little closures. Fold that in and fold that in. And there we have our coin envelope. You can ink this, so let's do that. That's cool. And then what I'm also gonna do, just to give that a little bit more interest, I'm gonna grab my stamp that I used earlier. I'm going to add a little bit of text there just to give that envelope a little bit more interest really and that's our envelope so let's take our closures this is this is if you want to make the closure you don't have to do that there. okay i'm going to take my proper dial again i'm going to use the small hole this time just punch a hole in the middle or as close to the middle as you can get it. <laughs> Sorry, that's terrible. <laughs> Look at that. Mm, not very central. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just closing up my envelope. I'm going to take my pencil, which is probably not the best tool to use in this instance because you can't really see, but I'm going to put a little pencil mark, open that up, and then I'm just going to put a hole in there like that. Mm, just to put a hole somewhere in the centre of your top one, your top flap, like that. Okay, I've got my little paper fasteners. Okay, these are quite large, but they're the first two that I've found that are a pair, so I'm going to use them. Um, and I'm going to put that through and put that through there close that up now you can try and cover these however you want to if you want to this is obviously a very quick video it's more about how to make it rather than how to embellish it and make it look pretty close that we don't want them too tight because they've got to have the string around them and you should find that it will overlap with that brad in there so I'm going to put a little bit of glue down this edge and a little bit of glue down that edge and close that up. You can use score tape, you can use anything you like. I'm using glue, cheapest option. You can see that's open. And I'm going to put a bead of glue along the bottom here, close that up. And then you can find your string and tie this together. I mean, you can do a much better job of it than I have. This was obviously a little bit rushed. <laughs> um, but that's the template that is in the Facebook group. And then obviously the corners. Let's use our super duper corner rounder that I got from Vicky. And just put a little corner on each of these little journaling cards. And then they will fit perfectly in that envelope you can put tabs on them you can do anything you like there's there's enough room i think probably to put a tab on there if you put it far, far enough down your journaling card so that is the coin envelope um that's the faux envelope front with the pocket we have our tickets we have a couple of little variations of stamps and we have our little faux Rolodex cards and, and I've lost them, I've lost them, I've lost them. But we also had our little paper, paper clips. Where are they? Oh my days, they have gone. Okay, um, one more thing I'm going to be putting into my Facebook group until the Foxy Rag comes out. And that is a page of large red labels. There's probably nine, I think, on the page. Um, but if you have the capabilities of printing, they will also be in the Facebook group. So that should be a few little bits to get you underway on top of the fold folders and everything that we made yesterday. I have no idea. They have completely disappeared. I can't find them. I can't find our little um, paper, paper clips that we made. I can't find them.
that was perfect timing <laughs> we are done okay i hope you found this as useful as the first video thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all your lovely comments it's been amazing i will see you really soon take care